I feel like Bristol's a, another character in the show, and I really wanted to feature the city. And I think it's nice to be to sort of claim the city as my own in a way, as someone from the area, and sort of you say kind of put it on the map to some degree. Um, and uh, yeah, and I think it, you know, it's very visually, very, very striking, and people forget that. It's nice to actually come here and film a project that represents Bristol in its entirety, and I, I just really hope the people of Bristol love it as well. My mum used to be involved with community service when I was growing up. I'd just like to make it clear now to the Post that she was not involved in crimes. She uh, supervised offenders. Um, and she used to tell me about the sort of people that did it, some of whom I went to school with. And uh, I always thought it was an interesting backdrop for a show, you know, because you have very unlikely groups of people coming together to do this. Uh, to do their punishment and um, and so that's sort of what we've done really we've taken a bunch of different characters and kind of thrown them together and watched the sparks fly and um, and, and very much inspired by sort of stories that my mum told me Christian Taylor he's a bouncer that works at a nightclub and um, you know he looks after his, his younger sister who he's trying to steer onto the, the right path and you know she's getting mixed up with gangs and sort of the wrong crowd and his his job to sort of give her the future that he never had. We wanted um, an older American actor in it because we like this idea of a character that sort of feels like they're, they're an alien to the city and it's kind of land, they're like a man who fell to earth. He doesn't use a mobile phone or a computer, so I think we had to dust off an old fax at the BBC and fax him the script. And he did read it and he was up for it and um, and came to Bristol. And, and um, well, what did he think of Bristol? Well, I'm not even lying to you. I said to, he said, well, we said well, what's Bristol like before he came here? I said, oh, it's a bit like uh, San Francisco. I said, it's got the bridge and uh, it's on the water and it's very hilly. Uh, we got beautiful weather, California, <laughs> and um, and I think that sold it to him. And um, and he came and actually he did seem to like the city, but of course he couldn't because we were shooting during COVID. He couldn't come and sort of enjoy the city really. So, yeah, apparently he went for walks and, and he was he was I think a lot of those kind of protests were happening at the time, and so he was get woken up in the middle of the night because there were people jumping on top of cars outside his hotel room. But he seemed like quite sanguine about it. it was like okay, and just went back to sleep. Right, and what was it like working with Christopher Walken? Oh, no. I mean, the name says it all, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? He's an, he's an absolute icon. And um, for me, one thing I really did enjoy was the fact that he had so much time for me. And, you know, he had so many stories about the industry of old and, you know, his transition into what's going on at the moment. And just to have him there, just to have his energy and his presence there. You know, sometimes I'd be on set and I'll just watch him. I'll just watch him, understand his process, see how he works and just learn from him. So it's, it's been super, super special.